Hello, people of the internet. It is Matthew. I just got back from a month of working out of the country, so I have a whole month at home now to do whatever I please. And right now, I please to check on the plants. Uh, if you take a look, they're, they're doing okay. It looks like uh, the uh, lights were working. I don't think they've been really having anything except for water. I don't think there was any fertilizer or anything added to those things. So they've been growing so far with just water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these outside, perhaps the peppers, and start exposing them slowly to the sunlight. I'm going to be hardening them off and uh, getting them ready for the hydroponic system. I'm going to take these outside right now and I'm going to start getting that greenhouse put together. So let's go to the garage and see what we've got going on in there. So I dug out the frame that I had built last year. You would probably maybe remember this from last year if you've seen the old video. I'm not going to do too much to it. The, the frame is still good. Um, I'm going to add a few pieces in here. Maybe some more hinges on the back or some more supports. So I'll get to work on that and then maybe start putting it together. I know some of you were asking about a list of materials I used, but it's pretty straightforward. It's a 4x8 uh, frame that I had supports put in and one is built out of 2 by 4s the other on the back is built out of um, uh, 2 by 6s so that, that way I can stack them on top of each other and I can have a hinge that lifts up uh, and get to the plants and stuff that's inside Hinges, one dollar at the dollar store, and you get two. Here's the frame on the ground. If you want to see a demonstration of the hinges, check this out. Whoa. So we'll have some kind of arc uh, to put our, our plastic over, and we can do the, the poly greenhouse or whatever you want to call it. So here's what I had last year to hold the, the PVC uh, that would make the arches. So whatever you're using to make your arch, PVC or tubing or, or, or whatever, whatever size. Uh, basically, this is just a cut piece that I had. It, it's gonna go in here and loop around to the other end. Uh, so I have a piece of wood here that's just gonna stop it from falling through. And then I have a strap here. Um, I don't know what it's called, steel strapping or something like that. So the only change I'm going to make is I'm going to put a second strap a little higher up to stop it from leaning in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, that's all done. So the straps are in, so we can use those to put uh, our arches in out of our pipe, PVC, or whatever you're using. So one in that end, one in this end. And I've got five of those on each side. So I fill it up and then put the plastic over top and we're good to go. Another nice addition I thought would be some handles. Just make it easier to open and close. Also from the dollar store for one dollar. I'm also going to put a chain on it just to stop it from when you open it just have it open too far and fall over. So 
once we put all of our arches in, we're going to put plastic over top of it and attach it to the upper frame. Uh, I was lucky enough to find a product that's specifically designed for that. Last year I had wrapped the plastic around wood and then attached the wood to the side and that kept it pretty tight. But there's this stuff which is like a U-channel and then you have a wiggle, piece of wiggle wire that would go into the U-channel and it would lock the plastic in place. And it looks pretty cool. I hope it works and I'll show you this outside. I'm also going to give it a base so that no weeds or stuff grows through so I'm just going to throw on some weed barrier on the bottom of it. So that's all taken care of, let's start building the shell. So this U-channel will go around the entire frame and it'll be screwed on up here. Then I'll drape the plastic over. The plastic goes into the channel and then you'd put in the wire over top of the plastic. So a lot easier and a lot better system for attaching plastic around your greenhouse. Alright, the channel is in place. Now I'm just going to put the plastic over it and lock it down. Doing these end pieces, if you want to seal them off, can be a little bit tricky. Uh, my plastic isn't wide enough to go end to end, so I have to do like shorter pieces on either end to close it in. What I found works really good is, well not really good, but works, is if you take uh, the same piece of tubing that you're using for your arches and uh, cut them down the middle, you can put your plastic over and then use it as a clamp on the end to close it up. So that's what I'm going to do here. They work alright, I used it last year. You'll notice after a big wind or something, you might be missing a few and you might have to put them back on. But overall, it works pretty good. I should also mention that you may not want to even close off these ends. These things can get pretty hot inside and you'd be cooking your plants. Anyways, something like that, you get the picture. Alright, so that's it for this video. Pretty much done here, the greenhouse is done. We still have to set up the hydroponic ebb and flow system. We still need to set up the solar panels. But that's all this video is going to be. I'm going to save those projects for another video. I hope this was useful or interesting to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, uh, we'll catch you later.